Hey there, Chef Dean Melfi here, and welcome to Plant Based Made Easy. Happy Wednesday. Today I'm going to be making with you a delicious veggie burger recipe. This recipe is so simple, and it's really great because you can use any ingredients that you have on hand, and I'm going to show you a bunch of different swaps. So let's get going. All right, so if you guys want this recipe in its entirety, I recommend go ahead and download and purchase issue number eight. This is my cookbook that's plant-based made easy companion cookbook for this show. And you guys, I've actually had to make these burgers ahead of time. So I'm not going to get to show you all the quantities, but I'm going to explain the process. If you want this recipe though, download this cookbook, you guys, it's awesome. This cookbook is going to give you a month full of plant-based recipes that are all super simple, super easy, and super duper nutrient rich, because that's what I'm all about. I love taking classic recipes like burgers, pizza, taco, pasta, like everything that you like to eat normally if you are transitioning from an animal-based diet to a plant-based diet, and then how to integrate the healthiest versions of these classic recipes over and over again. So every single month you're going to see a recipe for tacos. Every single month you're going to see a burger recipe, a pizza recipe, pasta, and so on and so forth. I love kind of taking the recipe matrix and then expanding it out for the season. So I'm really excited because we're on issue number eight, you guys. We've been doing this since last August. I cannot believe we are now in March of 2021. The, it, like the world is going very quickly and very slowly. Are you feeling the same way? <laughs> All right, so let's make these easy lentil burgers, you guys. And if you have any questions along the way, please type in them in the comment box. And I wanna say hello to my lovely regular viewers, Karen Champagne and Sharice. Good to have you, ladies. Good afternoon. All right, so easy lentil burgers. Now I'm just gonna go to the page here and I'm gonna do an overhead so you can follow along with me. All right, so moving into the overhead here. This is the page that we're working out of Easy Lentil Burgers right here. You can see we are working into it on Wednesday as our dinner recipe, so that's why it's yellow. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes? Okay, cool. All right, so first things first. Here's some, I'm gonna explain the recipes, the ingredients that we need for this recipe. We definitely want to actually make a some sort of glue, all right? So for this uh, easy veggie burger base, I'm gonna make a mustard maple syrup. And this is gonna act as kind of like the thing that's gonna kind of make everything stick together, all right? So I want a little bit of Dijon mustard here. I also want a little bit of maple syrup here. And then a little bit of curry powder, all right? This is gonna give you flavor and it's gonna give you a lot of nutrients. It's gonna give you an anti-inflammatory effect on the gut belly. It's gonna help your body feel really kind of fueled if you pair this with salt and pepper, and I know many of you are whole food plant-based, so you don't do salt, oil, or sugar, you can actually um, use pepper in the, as a replacement for salt. And it's really great because I don't know if you know this, but curry powder has turmeric in it. And turmeric is what makes this yellow. Turmeric is really good for our bodies and it has a very anti-inflammatory effect if we pair it with black pepper. So really important, if you want that, that wonderful kind of hit of anti-inflammatory effect, you have to combine it with crushed black pepper. It really makes it delicious. So you combine the curry, the mustard, and the maple syrup together. You whisk it and you get this little paste and it's wonderful. Keep that in a little bowl and then to that I'm going to have you add the rest of your easy lentil burger ingredients. So simple. All right, first things first, we need some lentils. Now you can actually cook your lentils from dried. Here's dried lentils and I recommend using ground lentils because they're going to kind of stay large and they're going to hold their shape but I really like this product. Now, all of my ingredients are brought to you today by Melissa's Produce. These are steamed lentils by Melissa's Produce. And this is a really cool little pouch. These come ready to go and they come in a pouch. This is a nine inch, pou nine inch pouch and it is awesome. You just open it up, you cut it open and there are, they are cooked and ready for the eating. Now I use these a lot. I use these in salads. I put them in soup. I sometimes will make a uh, vegan plant-based pate that is a, has lentils as the base. Um, let's see, a lentil uh, lentil salad, like Waldorf salad or, or tuna salad, but using lentils instead of tuna um, or chicken. Um, lentils are really great. They are, they are a legume. They're really nutrient dense, very high in iron, really good for you. In terms of protein content though, in only half a cup, you're gonna get 10 grams of protein. So that's a whole lot. All right, the next thing that we need is some sweetness, all right? So I'm gonna use some Thompson raisins here. Again, this is brought to you by Melissa's Produce today. So these are the Melissa's Produce Thompson raisins, which I really like, but I'm showing you the, the package that it comes in because it comes in a three ounce little bag and you can find these in the produce section, you guys. These are so great. Um, they're usually kind of hanging wherever, you know, 
in the produce section somewhere, um, usually near the pine nuts, something like that. Um, you can also sometimes find them in the baking aisle. These are really great. These are gonna be juicy and delicious and they're California grown. So really love these. Now, the next thing that we need is we need a crunch factor, all right? Now, we want to try to mimic the consistency and the flavor of traditional burgers when we make veggie burgers. And so because these are easy lentil burgers, they're going to be very soft from the lentils, and we need to add a little extra layer of consistency or crunch. And so I'm going to use walnuts, but not just any walnuts. I'm going to use these. These are red walnuts here today. And I'm just going to show you the package. Now, look how, at how gorgeous these are. Have you guys ever seen red walnuts before? They are really my favorite of all the nuts. They're beautiful. They're more like pink, but they're really, they're really delicious. Let me, let me just show you in my, the palm of my hand here. Maybe that's easier. Look at how red they are. They, they have kind of like a magenta color. They are sweet and delicious. They have like a really delicious walnut-y flavor, kind of a little bit more pronounced than a traditional regular walnut. Really good. So you're going to um, add some walnuts. Maybe you want to add some breadcrumbs. Maybe you want to add some shredded beets. It doesn't matter. You can substitute lots of different ingredients. You can add some oats if you feel like you need uh, a little bit more stickiness to your burgers, whatever you want. But you're going to add any, all of these ingredients or any additional ingredients to your mustard sauce and then fold it together. And then once you have that mixture, it's going to look like a you know, patty, burger patty mixture, and you're ready to form your patties. So I've done that ahead of time, and I'm going to show you what my patties look like. These are really yummy. These look so great. All right, so here you go. Here's two patties for you. These look really delicious. You can see they kind of look just like regular burger patties, right? I mean, slight variation. You can tell that there's some, um, you know, grains. You can tell, here I added oats. You can tell if there's walnuts. You can tell if there's lentils, but you get the gist, right? All right, so I'm going to heat these. Once you have your patties formed, I'm actually going to just like put them in a pan with a little bit of oil. And if you're whole food plant-based, you can just do this in a dry pan or you can add um, any, like a little bit of cooking spray, which would be fine. Any cooking spray just to lightly grease your pan. But I'm going to use uh, my favorite oil, which is avocado oil. You can use also uh, olive oil, but that's going to give you an impart a little bit of an olivey flavor. Just for me, a little bit of avocado oil because it is a high smoke point. And I'm going to come to the overhead. You can see I'm not using all that much. Now, I say that you can use a little cooking spray if you're whole food plant-based because it's not that much, right? The other recommendation is if you don't want to use any oil whatsoever, just get yourself a really nice non-stick, all right? This is ceramic, but it works really well. There you go. I see a little bit of a... This, this ceramic works really well as non-stick. It gets nice and hot, um, and uh, non-stick would be much better. Traditional non-stick with the Teflon would be much, much better, and that's going to just make sure that everything that you put in your pan is kind of slipping and sliding along the way. All right, so now once this gets hot, I'm gonna add my patties right to the oil. Not quite hot enough, almost there. And I'm looking for, and I'm smelling for, like looking for the shimmering oil and smelling for the oil smell. I want it to kind of start to smoke up a little bit and be really kind of uh, ready for whatever I'm adding to it. So I know that it's ready when it starts to get nice and ribbony or shimmery. Do you guys see that? That's what's happening here. Really kind of cool. Hi, Dad. All right, I'm going to add my patty right down. And already you can kind of hear it popping and sizzling. Can you guys hear that? Can you hear that? Can you hear the sizzling? Can you hear the popping? I don't know if you can. Probably not. All right, coming back to it. Now, while this gets cooked up, I want to get my garnishes for my veggie burger ready. Yet you don't need a whole lot of time. So you really just want to get your garnishes ready so you can eat as soon as these burgers come off. Okay. So I'm going to remove some of these things and let's talk about garnishes. Now I really like lettuce wrap burgers. So I'm going to use these little gem lettuces and look how gorgeous they are. I love the little gem lettuces for the for the uh, bun because this makes it low carb and it makes it more crunchy and hydrating and delicious. So you can actually eat maybe two burgers if they're lettuce wrapped as opposed to one burger if it's uh, wrapped in a bun. But let's say you do want a bun. Here's a, a little quick tip. 
I do have a recipe in my cookbook um, for baked bread, homemade baked bread. And this recipe is awesome and versatile because you can turn it into a loaf of bread. You can turn it into a challah. You can turn it into rolls or buns. You can even turn it into sandwich bread. And I've seen people turn it into pizza crust as well. So that is one of the staple recipes within this book. At the end of every week, I give you a staple recipe. And that's kind of like your weekend recipe. Those are things like bread, milk, cheese, and yogurt, which I've talked about many times on this show and really good for you. So you can actually use a bun if you want, but I really prefer the lettuce wrap and then a little bit of tomato. So I've already sliced up my tomato here, but I'm going to show you. This is a wonderful beef steak. This is California grown. It's going to be super juicy and delicious. You know, this is not the season for tomatoes right now. So these are going to be greenhouse grown. Um, they're going to be really delicious nonetheless. I just wanted to show you that I pre-sliced them, but here's how you would save a tomato. Here's a question that I get often. How do you save a tomato um, and make sure that you can, you know, cover it and it doesn't go bad, um, you know, within a day? Have you guys seen these? These are really cool. These are sustainable, flexible covers for produce. Now, I love these because you can slide it over any shape and it basically covers it up. It makes it air sealed. Now, I'm telling you guys, these are awesome. This is going to last in your refrigerator for about three to seven days, so about a week. And it is going to make this tomato last a lot longer, which I think is great because things like tomato and eggplant and other ingredients that don't last that long, you really, really do want to save it comes in lots of different sizes too. You guys can check out my Amazon storefront for things like this. I love sustainable hacks because it's really great, not only for our produce, it help us, helps us to save money on our produce, but it also is better for the planet. All right, coming back to these burgers. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Now you, now you can probably hear the sizzle, I'm sure. All right, and then also I want some sauces. For me, I really like vegan maize or mayo that I make homemade. Um, I've definitely made it homemade before several times. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on how impatient or patient I'm being. Um, but vegan maize is basically the same thing as mayonnaise, but it is made instead of with um, egg yolk, it's made with oil. And it's really super easy and aquafaba, which is chickpea. Uh, brining liquid. All right. So this is really all it is. It looks just like regular mayo. It tastes just like regular mayo. And then the other ingredient is whole grain mustard, which I really love. I love to top my burgers with a little whole grain mustard. That's the mustard with lots of different mustard seeds, pickled mustard seeds. Yummy, yummy. You could also use ketchup. I recommend getting a organic non-GMO ketchup, which I have one here from Thrive Market. This is non-GMO, meaning that tomatoes are all going to be USDA organic. But the cool thing about organic is that it is tends to be a lot less um, a lot less sugary. So it's a lot less sweet. This has only three grams of sugar per serving. A serving is one tablespoon. So that's going to be much better than your Heinz. No offense, Heinz, but Heinz is not is definitely a GMO product. It definitely uses genetically modified tomatoes, and we don't really want that in our diet. All right. So these burgers are done. They're they're warm through. Let me take them off the heat and let's build our burgers. All right, I have my plate here, and I actually made some roasted potatoes. These are fingerlings. They're really good. And I just uh, roasted these, 425, with a little chili powder, salt, pepper, whatever. I love to serve my burgers alongside potatoes, especially if I'm not using a bun. So I don't need to worry about it have, you know, these potatoes giving me a little bit of extra carbohydrates on my plate. Um, I don't worry about those things anyway because I, I don't worry about food in that way. I try to understand and use food and treat it well and value and honor it. And when I do that, it values and honors me. And that's not to say I'm going to sit around and eat ice cream all day. But I try to just remember if I'm getting enough nutrients, plants and nuts and seeds and fruits and vegetables and legumes and all of that, I'm going to feel better all around. And I don't really need to think about, oh dear, there's too many carbs on my plate, okay? Um, if you feel more comfortable counting calories, then I commend you for doing that. Do you, do what makes you feel good. Um, but for me, I'm gonna have a little roasted potatoes always with my burgers. And then here I'm gonna grab my, I need two big lettuce leaves. This one's looking good. Make sure to, to wash these well, because they tend to be very sandy. I think these ones are best. Let's see. Okay, this is good. I've washed them ahead of time, but just make sure that they're washed, they're uh, dried, I'm trying to say. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to add a little bit of mayo to it. It's kind of like your bun, but instead of 
saucing up your bun. You're going coast to coast on your lettuce leaf. <laughs> yeah. All right. Same thing with the mustard. And I like using the mustard here because you use that mustard sauce as the binder for making these. So the mustard in the, uh, in the actual veggie burger, it goes well with uh, the mustard here. Okay, I'm gonna add my veggie burger right to it. Look at how gorgeous this is. I might add a little bit of mayo here. Perfect. And then maybe another tomato. Couple pieces, why not? And then top it off, right? This is now open face. You can top it off with your lettuce leaf. And you guys, here is your easy lentil burger. This looks so delicious. What do you think, right? This looks juicy. It looks, I mean, I'm ready to eat. I love the fact that I can serve it on a plate and this is a wonderful dinner. For me, this is exactly what I crave most, I would say most midweeks, right? I'm looking for that burger recipe and here we go. Easy lentil burgers, fingerling potatoes, everything delicious. I have to give this a bite. Before I do, I'm gonna give this food a little gratitude. I love you, food. Yum. Here we go. It's worth the mess. <laughs> That's so good. Yum. Sorry about it. Oh my gosh. You see how piping hot and delicious? You guys, get into this. Get into this burger. You are gonna love this. Let me try this fingerling. Hmm. I'm one happy camper right now. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. At least I can admit it, right? <laughs> you guys, try this recipe. And if you try it, make it your own, like I've said several times here. And take a photo, will you, and pop it into our Facebook group, Plant Based Made Easy. We are almost 5,000 people large in our Facebook group. I can't believe how fast we've grown. Please consider joining us. It's a free Facebook group. It's really kind of fun. I love the fact that it's a global community of people. People from, people from all over the world are joining us. So it's really, it's an awesome community. I really would love for you to be a part of it. And then please consider buying my cookbooks, you guys. This is issue number eight, which is what we're working out of today. Remember, you can buy these cookbooks as individual cookbooks, one ofs, if you want. They are a really great investment. I'm telling you, less than $2 a day for the recipes inside. It's gonna give you a month of recipes, 24 recipes to be exact. That is breakfasts, lunches, dinner, snacks, sweets, and staple recipes, and everything that you want in between, including um, you know, journal entry pages where you can actually reflect on how did you cook this food? What, what it, what, how did it feel when you ate the food? What was it like for your in your process of going plant-based? Um, you can get all the ingredient lists so you can go to the market and shop. There's a calendar menu tool so you can really of learn about um, the entire menu and then figure out and, and put in the dates of when do you want to actually prepare these items. So check this out. You can also purchase my monthly cookbook membership, which gives you access to a new cookbook every single month for 20% discount on these cookbooks. And I really hope that you'll consider. Remember, you guys, I cannot continue to make this content if um, we don't get enough sales on the cookbook. So please tell your friends, tell your family, uh, spread the word with me, will you please? Because I think that we can literally change the world one bite at a time if we give it a try. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm gonna be back in the studio on Friday and I'm gonna do a staple recipe and I hope that you will join me for that. Have a good one. Peace out.